Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So, uh, it worked. Both Split Lock and... What was the other one? Ring Zero are gone. So it's starting to fade from memory as if it never happened. They're gone. Now, I did test a fresh install of Cache OS. What I already had was already a fresh install and both issues still happened. So that's a thing. That's unfortunate. And they happen in the 6.15 sorry 6.14 6.15 6.16 6.17 girl they also happen in all types of message drivers so that's not the issue um they don't happen in nixos vanilla arch uh fedora nabora hell they don't even happen in ubuntu or mint i can actually boot mint now but it's a horrible experience still because it doesn't have x wayland 24.1 or newer which they really need to update for a proper Wayland experience, or they're just screwing themselves over. So what to do from here on in? Well, it feels nice to be back on just Vanilla Arch. It's not Vanilla Arch anymore. I did compile the uh, Cache OS kernel from scratch, the 6.17 RC1, with working NVIDIA drivers and everything else, so that's something. Not that it provided me any performance gains at all or anything really but it's there it does stuff that's good right i guess it works uh i'm still on plasma because i'm taking a break from hyperland just for probably another three to four days until i have enough energy to get back to developing my desktop environment that i'm building in quick shell so there's that now i've been gaming um in this since i installed it yesterday uh, I just finished going for about another hour and 20 minutes and ground it to without having the issue. We played about three to four hours of Silent Hill 4, uh, Silent Hill 2 Remake. Silent Hill 4 Remake, that'd be badass. But Silent Hill 2 Remake without any issues. Uh, so gaming's been perfectly fine. The Cache OS kernel apparently is not to blame. I don't know what is at this point, but there's something inside there that causes the issue to happen. And I just got to narrow down what it is. Yeah, it's been it's been fun just getting back to what makes Arch great. Uh, doing everything myself, figuring everything out. It's been nice. I missed it. I think I'm just going to stay with this. I'm still going to recommend Cache OS to any new beginner because it just honestly makes sense. It's modern. It's up to date. It handles your hardware perfectly. I don't really see an issue. My problem is not your problem. You're most likely not going to get it. And uh, I've checked hardware configurations and things like that. And it's not that problem. My hardware's fine. So I just don't know what's been causing it. But I've been trying off and on just replacing certain packages on Cache OS with stock ones from Arch Linux. And uh, then I've been testing gaming and I still get it. It's like, okay, well, that's not that package. And I've been crossing them off on my list because there's only a couple thousand packages that you really have to test. I mean, if we go in here and you can see, I have 1,300 packages currently installed, right? I don't know what Cache OS comes with stock after installation, but it's a pretty easy list to go down one by one and test. So if I can, if I can narrow it down, if I can find out exactly which package causes the problem, then I could solve the problem by just not using that package and still using Cache OS. Or, you know, find out what causes the problem, deliver the message, hopefully not yelled at again for having a problem like I did in Discord, and then all things are good. I got yelled at for my video yesterday. Can you can believe that? How sad has the world become? can donate it to these people and the minute i have an issue they're treating me like shit not really the uh the best you know uh point of view is it it's like one day you just you have you just have endless respect and then the next day it's like wavering i expected them to just be a little more mature about the fact that i had an issue i needed to go somewhere else to solve it it's not like I'm cutting them out of my existence, or I'm no longer going to recommend them. It's so stupid, the way that people act. They're so offended or easily triggered by almost anything, and it's sad. 
And then AI keeps getting brought up to it because I friggin' wrote out my thoughts and had AI literally uh, place it into something that's readable because my thoughts are an absolute and utter disaster. Uh, on the NVIDIA forums. I get yelled at for that. And yet, you know, I, I watch him every day use JetGPT and Gemini to make scripts and stuff and to fix problems. And I'm the problem it's it's just it's crap like that that doesn't make any sense the linux community as a fucking whole is one of the most toxic shit stains on the planet and i wish it would just do better and it sucks that it just doesn't have like the common sense to understand if you act this certain way it's going to get around and people are not going to want to use linux because of how the other people are acting in the community do fucking better all right we're in, a, we're in a generation where everybody uses AI for everything. Hell, I was bored earlier and I went and I used AI to decipher some chalkboard stuff uh, that was in, what do you call it? Uh, God damn it. Uh, file not found. Okay, here it is. See that? That's from the movie, The Time Machine. I wanted to know what all that meant in the background. That as well. And it's like, great. AI is great for those certain things. And it could help you fix your issues in coding if you have any, like you're doing something from scratch and all of a sudden you run into a problem. You can use it to like, I have this issue. Uh, help me figure it out. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. And then I can correct that mistake and move on. Like, people constantly bitch, I have cursor. Yeah, I do. You want to know why? Because it gives you access to every single uh, intelligent AI there is. How do you think I learned Quick Shell so quick? Because it knows. And if I feed it a document, I need to know a specific thing. Like, uh, how this person created their bar. It could instantly tell me step by step. And I'm like, okay, I can absorb that information. I can make a bar like that except to my liking learn at whatever pace you want learn whichever way you want if you're visual be visual okay it's not going to hurt you and if someone has a bad opinion on you doing so throw them out of your life at this point because they're just not worth it burn that goddamn bridge down you know what i mean because you're you're better off not having to deal with that type of crap you know what i mean let's do that let's sort everything alphabetically so my issues are gone. I have a I have stable uh, system. I have good performance. I'm able to stream again. I don't have to worry about crashing anymore. And that is all that matters. That is all that should be important because then I can go back and make more videos about Cache OS, the updates, things that they do, other distros as well. It doesn't stop just because I have one issue. No. And if I do have an issue, I expect people to be more mature about it instead of acting like a bunch of fanboys and throwing a hissy fit like I just kicked a toddler or I stole a toddler's piece of candy. Grow up, you know? I'm sick and tired of people acting this way in the Linux community. <sighs> issues are issues. They happen to everybody. They happen in every distro. You bitch whine and complain. Grow up. I'm just going to ignore you anyway. Just like everyone else is going to ignore you. All you do is make yourself look bad in the long run. That's not something I want for you. Okay? You built a great distro. Relax. Issues will happen. Mistakes get made every day. We just got to figure out where the mistake was made. We have to find it. We have to fix it. That's it. Because it's not like it's affecting anybody else that I know. Except for the split lock issue. That I know a few people are running into. And that again only exists on... Cache OS for some reason. It's like they have some patch in the kernel that they're pulling in. Or something is causing split lock. It doesn't happen on Vanilla Arch. And I'm mind blown at the fact that it doesn't. It's weird. It's very weird. And I need it to behave itself. Anyway, that's that. That's the end of it. I'm happy where I am. I want to stay where I am. And I'll see you guys next time.